Hey, it's Jeff with Sparkfun Electronics. We're here at the Tech Museum of Innovation in San Jose. We've got a whole group of educators and community workshop people here working with squishy circuits and e-textiles. This is part of our Western tour. We're rocking San Jose right now, and uh, maybe we'll see you guys soon. The Tech Museum has been here doing design challenge learning for over 25 years now. And we just opened this tech studio, um, which is our new makerspace, hackerspace. We're partnering with Make A Lot, running open makes, we're running maker programs. We have our maker core members here this summer. All the cool maker technology we keep, you know, getting into right now throughout our open makes, it's like making makey and squishy circuits and all these things. I was just like, circuits are everywhere. They're running through us. We also have our hands-on science workshop over here where kids um, work and engage on design challenge learning. So basically we give them materials, we give them a challenge, and they get to be super creative about how they come up with solutions to those challenges. And so it really just promotes a STEAM learning. They get the engineering and the science technology, but also tons of creativity and um, art in there as well. It's bringing fun. It's bringing the hands-on learning back to the kids. It's having them have that lighted moment with uh, direction and support with the teachers and a community, um, but it's, it's where the world is going. We're here to inspire the innovator in everyone and really teach kids, give kids the experience where they get to start to see themselves as innovators, where they tinker with materials, they get to go through those frustration moments where they don't know how it's, how it's all gonna work. Everything finally comes together into some really cool um, innovation that they never could have imagined. But there's something about once you can get electricity running through it that has that really empowering, like, look what I did. I totally made something twirl around and light up and make noise. I personally love the mobile van thing because I learned to program in like fourth or fifth grade in my gate class in the parking lot in this van that would come around. It was before there were computers in all schools. So we'd go out there in the parking lot and learn to program. It was so much fun. And it's awesome because you guys come in and create the whole experience for us. So we get to finally sit back and be learners. We're here at the San Francisco Public Library. We're working with all the librarians that they sent down to us, and we're teaching them Arduino and Pico Board, and we're gonna work with Makey Makey. And we're trying to help them get their maker spaces together here in the San Francisco area with new technology. I always loved going to libraries. When my daughter, who is now a teenager, was born, I started going to my local neighborhood branch here in San Francisco, and I said, wow, this is an actual job. You can actually work in a library and get to read stories and have a good time. I am the manager of a planning grant that we have from the Institute of Museum and Library Services, also known as IMLS, and the MacArthur Foundation that has allowed us to design and plan a new state-of-the-art teen center and a learning lab, digital media lab, and it will also include a makerspace. What will be in the makerspace, we're not exactly sure yet, but I'm sure that we will have some of the objects that we're learning about here today, tools, I should say, that we're learning about here today, such as Makey Makeys and Arduino kits and other fun, fun stuff. The ideas behind the projects, like customizing your own clothing, for instance, is a good draw as opposed to just saying we're doing a, an electronics workshop, for instance. The idea that kids can come in, learn these skills, and then apply them in their own ways to things that they're doing, customizing their clothes or promoting their, their, their band or whatever they're into at the, at the moment, that this is an example of a good way to do that. San Francisco is such a hotbed of innovation and technology. This is something that we need to not only be part of, but we really, I feel like we need to be like one of the seeds or the, you know, a, a center of the, a place where people can come and know, oh yeah, you can go to the San Francisco Public Library, they have a makerspace in their teen center. You're using your hands and you're discovering and through that tactile movement, you're learning about how things work. And I think ultimately, that's very empowering for people. 